So there's a global increase in the use of communication technology, such as the internet, social networks, and cell phones. The tech boom. And table two in Annex D, it shows data regarding the percentage of the world population living in the 12 regions, as well as the percentage of people using different means of communication, internet usage, social network usage, and cell phone usage. And we've got various uh, geographical locations in the world. So 4.2.2, explain why some data in the table is categorical. So the data for the global regions is, uh, it's qualitative information. So qualitative, um, just think of it as words. So Central and Eastern Europe, South America, Africa, it's qualitative. And then quantitative, quantity is a number. It's a unit measurement. So four, nine, four comma five, whatever it is. 4.1.2, write down the modal percentage usage for cell phone communication. So it's the mode. The mode is the number that repeats itself the most. So we've got a repetition of 5 and 5, 8 and 8. Uh, so we've got 2, 5% and 8%. 4.1.3, calculate the median percentage usage for internet connection. So the median, the median means the middle number. So we've got A, B, C, D all the way to L. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've got 12 numbers. So the sixth and seventh number would be our median. But we can't have two answers. So that's going to be the seven and the eighth. Number number six, number number seven. So seven over eight, sorry, seven plus eight over two. That answer is going to be seven and a half percent being our median. 4.1.4, write down the total percentage of the internet usage in America. So let me just quickly change colors. In America, we are looking at Central America being the 3%, South America being the 8%, and North America the 11%. So anywhere where you see America. I don't like this question. It should be write down the total percentage of internet usage in the Americas, but yeah. So 3 plus 8 plus 11, that is equal to 22%. 4.1.5, determine the total percentage of the world population living in all of Asia. That's 4.1.5 in Asia. It's going to be 2 plus 9 plus 23 plus 22, wherever you see Asia. Asia, 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 and Asia. We add these four figures together and we get a total of 56%. So the majority of the world lives in Asia.